Hello everyone, welcome back to your tech channel. Okay, so in today's video, what I will be doing today is I will be showing you various component, uh, electronics components. So whether you're an engineering student, someone that uh, likes electronics, or whether you're get, just getting started, it doesn't matter. I will really break it down in the video. Okay, so I'll be showing you all these uh, various components. I'll be explaining each one of them, telling you the meaning and what they are used for and how to read them. Then once we are through with it, we now look at this panel we have here. So we now identify each one of them, or what are they functioning for, and the rest. Okay, so let's dive in. All right. So uh, the first one of the first things you really need is a multimeter. Yeah, it's a very very useful gadget that you need in your journey as you are starting up. You need a multimeter. It can be digital. It can be analog. But for easy. I would advise you go for digital okay how uh, if you want me to do a detailed video on that just drop that in the comment section if I have good number of requests I would definitely work on that for you all right so multimeter is very very useful uh, that aside then uh, the first component I have with me is what we call IC IC let me remove it so that you see let me use this one uh, you can see it call it high C it's a very very useful component uh, some may be spire some may be two learn two side like this why some may be just one side flat and this one yours may not look like this some may be on board so assuming I'm working on a board and this will be on the board then I can easily plug this to it so sand IC is very very useful uh, then we have DC bulb yeah this is what we call DC bulb normal LED they are very very useful this one they have been powered by direct current why this other one is powered by alternative current this is a C bulb so this one even though you plug this C source to it it will never so it's very useful then we have the next one which is LED bulb this one can be powered with 5 volt battery to really work well then the next component I have with me is what I call transistors uh, transistors they are very very useful it's a very useful component let me have this line. Yeah, they are very, very useful as you can see right here. They are useful. Some may be three legged like this. Why some may be four? But this one I'm showing you here is currently three. So we have the collector base and emitter. And in the later part of this video, I'll be showing you how to test each one of them. All right, so let's move to the next one. Then we have what we call volume. It's called variable resistor potentiometer as you can see this one I'm holding right here is uh, is B50k this is B50k the other one here uh, this is B500k yes it's very very useful you will use it in guitar and some electronics component to regulate the flow yes, so it resists the flow of current so it's very very useful call it potentiometer why some people call it volume uh, but just know that it's a variable resistor that's the then we have uh, this socket, audio 1 over 4 socket. This is where your normal jack plug enters. It's very useful. You can use it to run your heart with an input. So it's very useful too. Then you need this in your soldering process. Uh, we call it uh, soldering lead. Yeah, we use it to solder. Then we have a soldering iron here. This is electric. Uh, let me show you my. I have the other one here. This one is DC. Yeah. This is DC. This one I can plug it to my power bank, my laptop, and the rest, and I can start soldering. Right, this one is AC base. So, if you want me to do a detailed video comparing the two of them, drop it in the comment. I would definitely. All right. So this is the lead. You know, you use this to touch the solder high on tip, and you'll be able to solder whatever you want to do. All right. It's very very useful. Then we have what we call fuse. Fuse. They are very very useful. They help in saving your gadget. Or, you know you cannot predict when light will misbehave so instead of you or your circuit getting affected this is what we re uh, receive it so it's very useful then we have speaker yes this one you see this in the radio small radios of telephone yeah then I have a big speaker here a bit medium one this is a speaker I will still tell you how to test it so it's very useful too there is a way we test it with our multimeter and also you can also test it with battery also it's very useful then another very useful component is what we call diode diode is 
very very useful the color it helps rotate to flow in just one direction whenever you want to be build a rectifying circuit from ac to dc this stuff really works well and then almost every electrical appliances you definitely see that they are very very useful we we'll still explain how to test them they are useful we have different type this one is just in 404 let me see the number of this one it's deleting already well there is another one is red we we'll call that one zeno diode they are both the same then this one is what we call sinus battery you can see this in laptop in your computer and the rest like that then this is what we call capacitor let me show you very now if you look at this this is rated at 400 volt 8.2 microfarad now what the capacitor do they help in storing your voltage so they and also they help to maintain it so that your voltage will not be flowing up and down it to regulate it in a straight line so they are very very useful they are very useful they are very useful comp component they have some preventing interference and the rest especially this type this one prevent interference totally yes they prevent it why this one they are stacked capacitor uh, this one is still 408.2 microfarad still the same thing with the formula then this one is 406.8 microfarad still the same thing now this one is also a capacitor it's just that this is film capacitor this is 2a103 j just very very useful we use this in guitar and most time we use it in guitar and some circuit also but it's very common in guitar that part of your guitar that has the tone you know you have the volume one volume two you have your tone under that tone section if they are looping they they cram to the top of that of i mean this side here for those that have been working on guitar instead of looping this place to this place you just do it this way but as time goes on just do where to like and subscribe to this channel because as time goes on i will be showing you various projects will be working with each of these components then the next one we have is what we call resistors resistor from the weight resist it means it resists the flow of what of current yeah they are very useful component too now if you look at them their current and their power code are different uh, we can identify the value of this resistor to get the resistance level using the color code and at the same time we can still use our multimeter to get that okay so just do it and subscribe to this channel because over time you see i'll be dropping different projects and if at this up to this point you are yet to subscribe please subscribe to this channel at least you are getting value all right so now uh, let me show you this is uh this is switch now the switch i have here is what we call three-way switch this is three-way we have some that you just press this way i don't have that here with me let me show you the one on this uh little amplifier here now you see this one yeah this one is very straightforward this is just one way switch you press it to the first way and the other but this one is what we call three-way this is on this is for the middle this is it works like a toggle switch and if you look at the back you can see that it complicated and like that the other one there has two terminals so this one is more advanced than that as time goes on we'll be using doing various projects where we use that uh, and this is what we call rotor yes it's very useful very useful so we'll, uh, we'll be doing, using this for a project very soon to just subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that then this is a very useful component this this helps you to convert your dc to dc outputs too at least the one coming from your charger where you can plug your cord your usb cord here then you'll be able to charge your battery so this will be very useful for us then this as you are seeing this this is a very beautiful power amplifier very very beautiful <laughs> and it's working very perfect i will we'll be doing a project where we do this you see we have different rating on it i don't know if you can see the here you can see vcs plus minus and the rest here. This is ground left and right. This is for the output. This is the power source. Then this is for the input. I will be doing a project on that too very soon. Watch out for that. Then this is what we call mic cone. Yeah, mic cone. They are very useful too. They are useful. You still see it. I will still test each of them in the second part of this video. Then this is your uh, your AC input socket. Now, if you have this two mount or uh, plug, this is where you plug it to. So in some Psychic, sometimes you need it, it's very useful too. Then I have my sodium leg, you do this, it's very useful. Use it to touch the head of your sodium ion, then you use it. And for some of you that don't know how to soak, 
if you need me to do a video on that just drop it in the comment section i'll work on that for you then i have a battery here uh, this is a dc battery this is just rated at 1.5 volt very useful this is not rechargeable there are some that are rechargeable but this one is not okay then this is a very useful panel too now you can see this you can see there is resistor here you can see this this is a capacitor rated at uh, 684 joules 400 volts and the rest this helps to prevent interference it's very useful this is a switch you can see it then you can see this is a an ac bulb this is not dc based this is ac then we have resistor and some other component there we're working on that then i want to show you this uh, because of the transformer there so you can identify what a transformer look like this is a transformer very very useful this is from a laptop charger so this is a transformer there you can see ca the capacitor there this is rated at 4.7 microfarad 400 volt you can see my transistor there you can see that all the components i've showed you most of them are in all this project we have capacitor here we have transistor here then we have diode here yeah you can see my diode is here then you can see my ac input socket port is here too then you can see my heat zinc also there my transistor is here my capacitor is here you can see my film capacitor too there already and what again can you see and then we have this ic too so all this and at the back too we have various components they are very very useful then uh, for the battery this is one of my battery i use this is 12 volt battery yeah, it's 12 volt is very very useful and it does save me a lot of time so this is 12 volts why this one is just 1.5 you can get 6 volt 5 volt and the rest so we have different battery now for the transformer let me show you this now back to this uh this is a transformer now if you look at this transformer from this my ac source is flowing straight to my switch and from my switch is returning back to this and this point there is a switch and there is a fuse inside there's a fuse in here then it will flow directly to this so what is happening is between 110 to 240 volt is flowing into this transformer then it's stepping in this is a step down transformer is reducing it down to 12 volt Still, but my the, my diode and my capacitor will not be able to balance it up to pure dc because this circuit here needs a dc power so this is my heat sink this is my heat sink uh, let me get something to use uh if you look at this place this is my sand high c it's my sand high c you know i told you that we have they, they are led may not be constant you know the one i show you looks like two side apart like square but this one this is a sand high c also then you can see my capacitor here you can see my transistor you can see my resistor you can see another type of uh, capacitor see capacitor you can see a diode here now See so diode. This is also a diode. Too. We have some too that will be flat with four legs facing up. They are all very useful. Then you can see my resistor. You can see that everything I've been explaining since all of them are in this stuff. You can see if I remove this now, you can see that it's a few variable resistor. Then if you look at this side, uh, this is a socket also. The one I showed you earlier, something like this. You can see it here. So all this stuff that is all mixed up electronic component okay so they are very very useful they are useful so just try and study them then in the later part of this video i will be testing each of these components one by one so thank you so much do it to like and subscribe to this channel trust you get some value thank you and do it to like also so that more people will see this video and they will tend to learn thank you.